The following video is heavily edited for YouTube. For the complete, uncut version, please consider visiting the Patreon. Thanks. Uh, no. Dashi likes having, like, the long, um, you know, uh, thing. Huh. And we're back. Owl House, Season 2, Episode 12. I don't know. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right. ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Ian. Three, two, one, play. Portal right. Door 2.0. Oh, that's right. The mouse. The glove is like on the billboard. Yeah. What I messed up when I made that ding dang door. Well, you did an all right job. Yeah! All hell loose! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! It's Steve! <laughs> It's Steve, the guy that like we thought was dead. Remember? <laughs> oh, ew! Oh, no, no. Yeah. Uh, don't let Hootie do the cooking anymore. Uh. Be off on my next adventure. Who you be? Uh. Okay. So oh. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> so she must be like the beast, the beast cover, I guess. Yeah, probably. Flora, Flora to Splora. Yeah. It, it's uh, literally Dora the Explorer. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I <Hello>, was loose. <laughs> Snake horses and horses. Snake horses. Snake horses. Snake horses. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Just jumping right into it? Damn. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this is a long episode. There you go. They gotta save all those seconds. The collector. Okay. He'll use the infinity stone. <laughs> the collector. I've oh. Been oh, he just goes to sleep, you little ball. <laughs> Their name, anyway. But the collector may know how to make a real. You're the owl lady. <laughs> oh, I guess just owl lady. Look at the poster. <laughs> yeah. Check it in the back room. No, the. <laughs> I could go back in time and talk to him. Uh oh. Really? Time right. shenanigans? <laughs> Top 10 <laughs> plot holes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mythical puddles that act as windows into the past, but they're never in the same spot twice. I forced her into it, but I think she had more fun than me. Lily, hmm. of course! My exciting first exhibit. Lily! I see <laughs> you're dealing with... ...exhibit for the museum. It's almost as if the Emperor wanted Florida to take me off. Well... Florian and Tal... That girl is story. ...history behind Deadwardian balusters. <laughs> it's... <laughs> The puns in this show are just top notch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exciting exhibit on time pools, and maybe I can get information on how Philip made the. <laughs> but the bird, bird. <laughs> is so <Yeah>. doofy. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a smiling. <laughs> 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 it's shrugged. <laughs> Let's do it. I I would I would <laughs> does no one have any more reservations about messing with time? <laughs> Clearly not. Hmm. Uh, I like how no diving is crossed out. <laughs> like I I'm, I'm not too scared. There's not a lot of chronology to screw up here, I don't think. Don't worry, Lucy. We're getting wrinkly. That's 
because something's keeping them locked in time. So hmm. the, the sword just left. Take, just left. Take, take the sword. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a, you're time traveling. Take the sword. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same beach that King your, was on. Your map was say your map was saying oh. you were going to a beach. Mm. What? Oh, it's not liquid. It's quicksand. Oh my lord! Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, the hell? Oh, is this like the primordial Pre times? <laughs> <laughs> well, he said premysteric. Hmm. Ah! The fuck? Whoa. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, suck it, me. Oh, I want that. It's a. <laughs> oh. Wait. Uh, wait. wait. Oh, it's a gargoyle. Is that the way it sleeps? Hectaceous. How do you know that? Mm. <laughs> it sounds like this is this world's dinosaur. That's about it. <laughs> Tonight I shall revel so hard I shan't stand any longer. Mind self. Rock. What? exploration. Now, before we dive in, we must remember if the tide comes in. Uh -oh. <laughs> bloody fly effect. Bloody fly effect. Bad girl history. So, let's boogie down to history. But no, don't die. Taking risks. Is... Oh. <laughs> hey, Ma, why are you doing? Bye. Well, tell him I'm busy. Maybe you could tell him yourself. <gasps> oh. Oh. Grandpa? Oh. You know the Clawthorn clan was once known for Okay, so what kind of is he gonna be like normal? Is he going to be strange? Oh. He's got a scar on his face, or one eye at least. Oh that's right, because yeah. you clawed it off. Maybe a patch. Now Luke, we are technically Wild magic. He's done as a oh. dangerous. Okay. Good tidings, kind witches. Hmm. Okay, so everybody's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, cause like, yeah, we're gonna maybe see if Bellows was wrong. <laughs> oh. I mean, was that ever in question? <laughs> Well, I mean, I just did, we right. didn't know anything about wild magic, and now we do. This looks awesome. Why did Bellows want to banish wild magic again? Well, the... Hmm. Look at this patchwork. <gasps> this segment looped by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Is he such a nerd? <laughs> but I bet Flora would scoff at it. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, you gotta be true to yourself. Hmm. He's probably a celebrity around here. Oh no, it's volume five all over again. <laughs> okay. You still owe When I've my mission, I promise. With my new and bravest companion, Blue Fang, I set forth. <laughs> His strengths of... <laughs> Words should make pretty good pins. <gasps> that doesn't belong to you. Hmm. 
Oh, well, so all then, time for paradoxes. <laughs> yeah, like... Sharpening your tooth. I'm just not ready, okay? Now move it. I got a scram. You're like 60. Uh uh, she's like in her. Oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to pretend to be Lilith? Oh. Friend there, what happened to our brother Blueface and his talisman? Uh. He's already gone to the Titan Blood. Ooh. You're Philip Whittabane, aren't you? The human? It's a gork. I'm. I've heard of your exploits, and I know what it's like to be far from home. Could we talk? Wait, right. I can give you snails. I can make you crush it. I'm ready. <laughs> I can open. Ah. They're true. Yes, and that's why we too are the collector. We need him. To <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she's she's crab girl. Astounding! I thought I was. A How else could I have survived here? Plant growth, ice, fire. Took years to find them. Even found one in a snowflake. My dude, me. <laughs> <Warrior. laughs> Bonding. Ah, I can't believe I got Philip up. <laughs> ah, that's um. <laughs> What's gonna happen to the timeline? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your niece is very talented. I'm sure she takes after her aunt. Hmm. I know a few tricks as well. <laughs> I tried to kill her that one time. <laughs> or two times. I've killed her multiple. I've tried killing her multiple times. Yeah. Whoa. Exactly. Like that's I always a think big about old. That. Mm. Wait, do you already know where he is? Yeah. yeah. Apologies, dearest mother. Oh God. <laughs> 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 oh Lord. <laughs> oh no, no! It would have been better if it just went poof, like an umbrella. Am I too late again? Hmm. Next time. Oh, that's like another cardinal. Hi. Is he the the guy in the statue with Philip? Hmm. No. Uh, no, right, because he's old. That would be... I don't know. Well, I mean, they did just introduce time travel shenanigans. We're so. in a nose! <laughs> no one wanted to accompany me. But every legend told me that the collector lies there. The heck? Figure out the mechanism to open it. If I weren't so frail. Oh, whatever. Mmm, yeah, I am, I am I sus of him. It's a dubstep door. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> You want it here. It feels uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Some of this is everything's a little weird, right? Hey, why don't you keep working on this and I'll go talk to Philip. What was that? I 
I single-handedly defeated the beast behind this door. <laughs> oh, all right. I needed a sacrifice. What do you say? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh God! Fuck! Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Distracted? I can finally get through those doors. You tricked us. It was destiny. Inevitable. You two were easier to trick than Blue Fang. Hopefully, you and oh, Blue Fang. Fang. Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, it's the thing, yeah. Do the tickle thing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Is that that is is that the same exact thing? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. You mean like is it the same one? Or is it like No, yeah. or like the same dinosaur type or whatever. Hey. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, I did listen to you. Uh... <laughs> 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 All right, he's gonna... He's gonna do the thing, right? Oh, <laughs> I do the, the leg. leg. <laughs> It's a round boy. <laughs> hmm. They misspelled that it should be B O I. Tell me how that thing's gonna help you build a portal to the human realm. For something else. No? What do you mean, no? <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, no. Nice. <laughs> Lucera? Oh, the guy's a little. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, now, how is that punch going to affect things? Mm hmm. We have a little time before the tide comes in. You want to do something exciting? Oh my god. <laughs> You're such a nerd. Oh, oh, oh. There's been a lot going on. You disappear from Bonesboro. You fix. Poster. And your mother tells me about the petrification. I wish you'd let us help. Grandson now. Oh. Yep, King's a yes. He can be a handful, but. Can't chase you anymore. Then stop. I've ruined your life. Even oh, even his bird has a little scar on it. Mm. Oh, okay. Stop trying to forgive me. I don't. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to try that again. Mm. Seed. My palisman making days are over, but I've been helping the Bat Queen replenish. Oh. Did you come all the way here just to brag? Yes, but also to huh. say. <laughs> Move on. And give Albert my regards, carving him with you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> mm. Mm. Show up. They could be on the other side of the world. Hey, nerds! How was mm. your nerd quest? Oh my god. Fair, Ida. But yeah, we found Philip. Whoa! Seriously? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Ida doesn't approve of the finger guns. <laughs> Barbarian. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh fuck. Mm. Pretty bubbly. Uh. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't know what to make of that. Mm. So that's the emperor. We're basically that's Bellows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I, I mean, I, hello, like the like, voice. Come on. Yeah, I know. It's just like, like, look, they they have even things that seem obvious or like thrown out. <laughs> like we we all thought yeah. that the the double ganger of loose was going to be something really important to the plot, and it just turned out to be a random person. So it's like I kind of needed to be sure. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, who's this? Who's this door? The explorer knockoff at the beginning. Is, just, <laughs> just, is she really just there to be the, impotent? She's going to show up again. She's she's going to show up again. We know that. Well, it seems like she's the head of the beast coven. Yeah, I I, I was almost going to think that she was like Lilith's replacement. Oh, as like the head of the emperor coven. But no, I think, I mean, she handled that that Griffin real well. So she might be the head of. The oh beast yeah. Coven. Oh yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> made it her bitch. <laughs> Her palisman is a whip. That's pretty badass. <laughs> Flora Desplora. <laughs> Desplora. <laughs> I have questions about that. <laughs> that has to be a reference. They, they, that can't Come on. Just look at her design. <laughs> of course it that is. That is of definitely course. a reference. Come on. Do you think it was a coincidence? No, <laughs> no. It's just like... <laughs> Raven, you're out of it today. Uh, partially, uh, I am out of it. It's just I. I, <laughs> uh, I just uh, I find it amusing as well. She doesn't exactly have the ball cut. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just like like when they do stuff like that, it's a little on the nose, and it's like the the w what relevance are they going to actually have in the story? Like, are, is she going to show up again? I, I imagine so. She has a unique design and everything, but. I guess everything in this world has a unique design, so yeah. I'm just wondering, like, is she literally just in there for like the motivating factor for Lilith and the quick joke, and then we're never really gonna see her again? Maybe we'll hear jokes about her later. What episode was that one where they showed all the head of the covens? Batman, you know all these episode names and numbers. Uh, was that the one where they introduced Rain? I believe so. Yeah, that would have been the Rain episode. Yeah. Let me see. That was Ida's Requiem two seven. Awesome. Thank you. I'm just gonna point out that sword would have really come in use it had useful. Handy. I wanted to say handy and my brain went to useful and I just did both. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I know, what the hell? My brain is just like, no, you don't get to function. You can't work. No words for you, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh <laughs> When they find the time pools, like I mean, I'm go, I'm kind of jumping ahead. But when they find the time pools and they stick, I was like, oh, I'm gonna party myself to death, and they just cut yeah. the guy. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> like, I, I didn't think this wasn't as um, laugh a minute as an episode, um, which I typically I like to see that in the show, but. Uh, the laughs that they did get were pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh no, the head of the beast coven was that little guy. Oh right. Yeah. So she might have been Lilith's replacement. Right. So, uh, yeah. Um, God, I've already forgotten the guy's name. Our book guy friend. Philip? Philip, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. It's, that's it's hilarious. I usually <laughs> call everything Philip. Yeah, that's Raymond's go to name, and that's how we started this call. He picked up, and I'm like, what's up, Philip? And you're like, what? I'm like, I don't know. That's your go to name. <laughs> wow, that early warning indication, I was just out of it even then. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my yeah. day. Uh, I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> my brain has been on time travel lately, and like they brought up time travel, and my brain was like, oh god, I gotta look out for all the contradictions that are gonna come up. All right, let's bring one up. Like the fact that she stopped the book from being burnt. Like this is just a loop. She needed to be there in order for her to have the book now, or not the book, the. She doesn't have the journal. She has the recording, but, but you know what I'm saying. Like, but I mean, the journal did exist. You know, it did get eaten by the little mouse. So yeah, get eaten by the rat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe this is just a clue that she was, you know, in the the like immutable timeline. Yeah, so that yeah. She actually, mm -hmm. the timeline accounted for her coming back. The same thing with Lilith tripping on her own head. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm, isn't mm -hmm. that kind of the clue there? Yeah. Everything that did happen was supposed to happen, so there's like right, there's no yeah. changing the timeline. There's nothing like that. 
Um, okay. Which is a good rule to establish very early on. Because <laughs> if you don't establish that and people start messing with time travel, writers get confused real fast. Hmm. And then you don't know. Okay, so I need to know, did they keep the dinosaur? Uh, I don't think so, no. <laughs> I don't think they brought it back with them. <laughs> That's for sure. Right. Well, <laughs> if it can hibernate for that many millennia, it can surely hibernate a couple you know, a couple hundred more years. So you can just, like, put it back in, go back, and then wake it up and feed it, I don't know, who these pellet things. Wait, I mean, it turns to stone when it goes to sleep, so maybe right. it came back with them. <laughs> turned to stone. Um, hmm. Ida's little meeting with her father was nice. It was, uh... Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. What? Well, you... What do you mean? Hmm, yeah. You said it was nice. You just that sounded a little bit more like, hmm. No, no. Yeah. It was, I, I, it was like, hmm, yeah. No, no. <laughs> Damn. Hey. All right, Raven, look, go get some coffee or something. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad at all. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I've oh, hyped up Pepsi. on three Pepsis. Yes. <laughs> um, no, but listen, um, I know what I said in the episode. Oh, maybe that's the other guy in the statue was her dad all along. Either that or, like, the cardinal itself, or the symbol of a cardinal, has something to do with something here. Maybe it's important somewhere. I don't know. They're obviously making the cardinal something. Birds as a motif are very important in this show, regardless. Um, yeah. Speaking of birds, Lilith's bird, is that her talisman? Like, this is the first time we're seeing it? I think so. I mean, yeah. Oh, no, no, that that bird, um, I don't think so, because her talisman's like a white owl. No, it's like a falcon or something. I, I can't remember that episode when they fought in season one. Because that bird was white, and her palisman bird is also white. Oh, they, um, that that might actually be her palisman. I was just looking at it again. Although her palisman, when it's in its like staff form, looks like really sleek and smooth. Right. This thing, whatever the fuck it was, looks like the doofiest <laughs> yeah. motherfucker on the planet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know? It's so <laughs> derpy little bird. <laughs> Maybe uh, it's the Clark Kent of Palisons. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just like it puts on a pair of glasses and suddenly it's like the most yeah. refined thing in the world. Yeah, so it's like super dorky when it's not needed or something. I don't know. I mean, it has a very pleasant smile. Uh, I'll say that it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it shrugged. It just <laughs> was like, "Hey, how's it going?" It looks it looks better when it's looking forward. From the side, it's a little more doofy. Um, <laughs> That's why when it's in Palisman form, it's got its like wings like arced up to like cover its profile. <laughs> uh, which I think it is. I think yeah. that doofy bird definitely is. Like it has the same belly coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's incredible. Like, like it looks so smooth and sleek, and yet it's doofy underneath. Which I guess it's supposed to be kind of like symbolizing what Lilith is. You're supposed to look like this, you know. Oh well. <laughs> if not, that's a great thing to say. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know this is smooth, sleek, and cool looking, and very professional. And then like when you get to the real meat of it, it's just this doofy little thing. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But I mean, Albert is amazing looking as well in Talisman, but oh, yeah. it's just like round and yeah. Meh. I guess Talismans just look more intimidating yeah. when they're in staff form. Yeah. I mean, Hawksley's also very intimidating. She had to close the curtains. I mean, that's super scary. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I love that. It's like, oh, uh, I'll just close this and you won't see any. Yes, <laughs> like, and you don't exist anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. Fucking Hootie is your pops is such a nice guy. See, how did he get that scar on his <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love your Hootie impressions. <laughs> Thank you. I don't try at all. It comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I just see if there's any fan dubs that need a hootie. I, I can yeah. be fun to do. Um, yeah. So uh, the the resolution with Ida's father was like we didn't need any kind of big arc spanning like character thing. Like maybe this is. I, I like how they handled the father better than they handled her relationship with her mother. Where I felt like they introduced the problem and then solved it in one episode. They introduced this ep this this problem in earlier episodes and we understand why she didn't want to see him multiple times she's mentioned it and then the episode that's resolved is literally just look i if we're, we're getting old let's move on you i need to pass this down to you and it's just like hmm. oh that's sometimes that's all you really need for that like i feel like that's a little more instead of having this whole like oh i'm being shammed out of my money by these these con artists which that was a fun episode but i just felt like that was like very much you know it, episode of the day feeling as opposed to like this deep character issue I, I don't know how to describe it i don't know those have been better than the the plot episodes feel like 
they've been rushed more so than the uh, like episode of the day ones. Oh no, I don't, I, I don't doubt that. This one, this one didn't feel rushed to me necessarily. Um, it, it actually, of all the plot episodes, this one felt like it was the most naturally paced. I mean, in season um, two, sure. Oh yeah, in season two, I should clarify. Season one yeah. is a different ball game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So it's like of of the episodes, this one like managed to cover two different really good bases and just fulfill them. Um, I did notice, like I, I noticed this earlier, like I I, I, rec I commented on it earlier. Brain still have some good words, please use them. <laughs> um, the the lack of jokes, like there was just not as many jokes. I felt especially like in the middle of the episode, it felt like there was less jokes. Actually, I think maybe like it just kind of petered off joke wise. Um, once they got into the past? Yeah, once they got into the past, there were less jokes. And, like, yeah. even with Ida's sub story, there was less jokes. Like, there was her trying to fake being Lilith, but that didn't feel like. That wasn't super funny to me. Like, it was kind of amusing in the moment, but I'm just like, the more I reflect, I'm just like, it, it's okay. It's not like something that I go back in my head and laugh at necessarily. I mean, I liked it not as a joke, but I liked yeah. it because it was kind of sad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, it kind of was. <laughs> It is sad. Like, you're so yeah. desperate you impersonate your sister to escape. Yeah. yeah. Lord help me if I ever try to impersonate my sister. <laughs> I mean, as one that has impersonated my own sister. Yes, twins. Aren't you twins? <laughs> I understand. Yeah. I understand. It's a little bit easier if you're twins. Right. No, but I'm saying I understand. That's why I was like, whoa, fat man. Pam. That hits. Uh. That hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you telling me that you have actually done, like, the twin swapsies thing? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Who? Like, like, like to get in clarification to get out of something you didn't want to do. Absolutely, that's the point of it. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> well, no, the other point would be to like to play a prank on your friends. That's the other option. I mean, that too. Yeah, sure, sure. So, do you just let the other sister take the fall for you? Like, how does that work? Uh, well, <laughs> you learn early that you shouldn't do that. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it Because she's happened. got your number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, just, I don't know. Just, again, what Fat Man said is, like, now so hitting me. And I don't know where to go with this because, uh, help me. Change the subject. <laughs> uh. Uh, yes, so, uh, fatherly time was was nice uh i thought it was very oh, very yeah. comfortably wrapped up it wasn't like any like big drama it was literally just ida had to talk to her dad that was the plot it's nice also been chasing her for 20 years jesus yeah i keep thinking that ida is older than she is yeah no because yeah. she's like she's like what 30s probably late 30s early 40s they said this in in um that one q a that i watched like lilith is 41 and ida is 43 i think Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that's about, that about lines up right. So, I don't know, because, like, she was, like, 18 when she went rampant on her family, something like that. How old was she? She was, yeah, like, she still had a different voice actor. She still um, had so a different she voice. she was younger. <laughs> she had, uh, uh. She, I was just saying she was younger than, like, when she was with Rain. Yeah. Yeah, because that was their graduation when she got cursed. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I just, I keep thinking they're older because she has, like, the white hair and Lilith and her both have, like, bags under their eyes and all that. So, it's like, I, I, I keep wanting to say, oh, they're 50s and 60s. And it's like, but they're not. They're they're young. It's just that, like, the hair is really the trip up for me from Ida. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, redheads don't go white that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Ginger. Uh. Yeah, look, I only have one white hair in my beard so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that. And and of course, lose. All right, so Philip here is Philip the Emperor, our, our dear friend. He has. Have we seen the runes on his body before? No. Is this a new addition to the lore for him? We haven't seen this. We just saw his arm turn into a tree or something like that mm -hmm. when he was busting shit up. So, like the the wild magic that he has. We don't even know if he actually hates wild magic. I think it's possible that he doesn't, and he just abused magic and blames wild magic for it. I think that's the case. It's like, dude, why did you inscribe all this shit on your arm? What were you trying to do? Well, they're probably track marks. Like, you said he abused it. They're like drugs, I guess. <laughs> you know, like... Mm, that's a good light glyph. Oh, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. What sense you know? Yeah. So this collector thing... Yeah, the thing was the collector. Yeah, the thing was the collector, and it's a it's a, a what do you call that? Like a, the sequence of the moon. Um, there's like a term for like what the map is called, but it's like the phase of the moon. Like I think it depicts yeah. the phase of the moon that has like a, it's like a lunar calendar or something like that. Um, yeah. 
I like how smiley it is. It's a very <laughs> happy moon on that picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, speaking of that, like, it's perfectly round, and I know this is super reaching, but I still think Hootie has a lot to do with the story because of that one line. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, does he put his face on it and then everything like resolves? <laughs> oh, yeah, and he's definitely not a bug. Yes, Hootie is the answer to everything. If we can get Hootie working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hootie is the moon. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and in order to transform him into it, we need the plot banana. Um. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Has Dashi seen that stream yet? <laughs> I don't know if she's seen that stream. <laughs> That's why I said, uh, okay, all right. I didn't. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, yeah. Uh, so yeah, like how many covens are there again? Nine. Nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine moons in this image. Oh. Uh, eight phases and one central. Oh. Well, wouldn't he be central? No. He would be this. That would be the king's coven. He'd be eastern. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are there eight covens and then the um the emperor's coven. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the yeah. emperor's coven. Not the. I said the king's coven. Emperor's coven. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so do you think that this thing is going to, like, collect the magic from all the different covens? Um, like, like, we thought that the collector was a person, but it's an object. And if the collector is an object, that well, maybe it's the door to the collector, or maybe it's the piece to find the actual collector, because you said smiley. Like, why would it be all smiley like that? I mean, it, it, bad things can smile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Have you heard of the Joker? I didn't say it was a good smile. I didn't say it was a happy <laughs> smile. It's actually creepy. Well, you know how they put those little um, tattoos on you when you you know go to a coven? Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe those, like, the magics that get locked away are actually getting stolen by the collector to increase its power. He is talking directly to whatever the projection is, and the projection does move. So I think that, like, you notice the eyes. It looks down at him. Mm. Um, so I think it is somehow sentient. And it's going to actually collect the magics that he needs for whatever the ritual is he's going to do. Mm -hmm. hmm. So there's my theory. Anyone else want to want to add? So you're saying it actually is like not a person, but something sentient. It's, but it, it, it's a sentient yeah. artifact of some sort. It's a mm. it's a magical little guy. And following the rules of D and D, he's going to have to roll a will save every day, or otherwise <laughs> be taken over by it. <laughs> Well, I think it's either, like, a door or a key to the actual person, but that's mine. It looks so much like a calendar that it might, like, but, you know, it, it's the collector, so it's like, you know, it, it sounds like a person, and Ida references it as a person, so, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's a collection that became sentient. <laughs> I would have more <laughs> concerns if it was the collector's because then we're dealing with Mass Effect, and we all know the third in that ended up bad, so the third season... Yeah, you know. Um, and that's where all that joke is going. Uh, Poor collection. Or it could open to nowhere, and we just get a crossover with Peter Quill. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you're saying. I was going to say, it was a moon, but no, it wasn't a moon. It was a giant skull. So, yeah, I was... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> unless the moon is a giant skull, because they do live in a giant skull. Oh my God. All right. We saw the size of the skull in this episode. Guys. <laughs> Are we done? Okay. Guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you all for being here. You've been a wonderful audience. We'll be here all week. All right, all right. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as far as this episode, we're good. Yeah. And then we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.